to talk a few minutes about how to put painted on horseshoes on your horse that look very shiny and realistic. Um, the first thing you want to do is gloss your horse's hooves. I like to use an angle shader quarter inch brush and even though the label's gone, this is golden clear uh, gloss medium. And you just dip your brush in there and paint your horse's hooves with that. Um, after the gloss is dry, you'll have a nice shine to the hoof. And I'm going to show you how I put these painted on shoes on. Uh, what I found is after the gloss is dried, then you can use this Pilot Fine Marker. It's a shiny silver. The tip is such that you have to pump it a little bit um, on a harder surface. Or you can do it, I like to do it kind of into a paper towel. And it kind of primes the, um, the marker and it gets some paint coming out to the tip. You don't want to get too much because then it'll drip all over the place. So just enough that you show that there's some paint on the tip. And then over top of the gloss, you can just start drawing on with the silver. And it puts almost a chrome finish on your shoes. And this, I mean, you can do this on an unglossed hoof, but what happens is this type of, uh, it's an oil-based marker and it likes to bleed, so you kind of end up with a mess, but somehow the gloss works in such a way that it'll hold your line pretty well. The other cool thing about the gloss is if you do make a mistake or you have shaky hands like I do, um, you can go back with uh, your angle shader brush. See how I've got some wavy lines here? You can go back in with your angle shader brush and clean that up a little bit. So you can just go along and kind of fill this in with silver. And um, you get a really nice shiny silver if you paint the area where your shoe is a darker color like dark brown or dark gray because then it acts like a the base of a mirror and the chrome in this gets real reflective and shiny. Um, when you have this finished, it does take a little bit of a, a time to dry, and so you'll need to set your horse down on his side until his hooves are dry. Um, another thing is, um, once you have these painted on, you want to be careful about the surfaces that you store your horse on. If you have a real fancy wooden shelf, um, that has like a varnished finish to it. Sometimes this stuff will stick to it and it'll react with the finish. And then it might peel the finish off your shelf and it'll probably take the shine off your shoes too. So that's something to think about for when you store your horses. Get my big hands in the way here. And this model is um, Max. He was sculpted by Kathy Baguki. He's uh, extra large, traditional, and even though he's hollow cast, he's really heavy. So my left arm is shaking a little bit holding him in this position so that you can see what I'm doing. And it's real easy to see the areas that you didn't hit if you've painted your shoe area darker because it shows up nice and dark, like a little dark line or a little dark speck. 
I've got to hold him this way just a minute so I can straighten this line out a little bit. So you can see the shoe that I've done. And even though it really wasn't sculpted on the bottom, I went ahead and drew it in. This guy has what's known as Scotch bottom shoes, um, which you'll typically find on show draft horses. Um, they have pads on the bottom of the hoof. Um, you can see that example here on the back foot. And this particular shoe has what's known as a caulk on the outside. And they're actually thicker on the real horses. And the purpose of that is to angle the hocks in and put the hoof out. The reason that was originally started is because it allows the horse to move more freely if he's driven um, on a wagon with a tongue between the horses. They're not banging their legs against the tongue. At least that's what I've heard. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy and I'll show you some pictures at the end.